Hey everyone, we're going to talk about a question that came over again. It's uh, nice to have this back and forth on the comment screen. So uh, what we're going to discuss today is resources and how that kind of functions in Business Central. So we have, uh, as you know, we have item, uh, which is something we talked about a lot and it's actually the first video. And then we also have something called resources. And resources are similar to items uh, as they can be put on a sales order and sold. They have prices, uh, etc. But different from items is that there is no uh, inventory. You don't keep track of like quantity on hand or anything like that. So they do have sub ledgers and those are called resource ledger entries. Oops. Uh, and if you put them on a sales order as a line item, it could be sold out and they will then, uh, uh, a resource ledger entry for a sale will come in. Um, there is also a resource journal where you can book cost and sale and changes to the resources. So, so you think, okay, so what really is a resource? Why would we use a resource? What's a good example of a user resource? And one example is um, labor, people. So let's say if you have, um, here we have John, and he is a resource, and he's gonna book eight hours on a sales invoice for, let's say, uh, you know, 200 per hour, something like that. And so whenever we book this on a sales order, uh, there's a sale that gets booked on the resource card and it comes actually in the resource journal as a sale. Obviously, there's also a sale that hits chart of accounts and you know revenue, et cetera, et cetera. But there's no need for the resource journal or ledger entries to actually balance out. So you don't have to buy eight hours in order to sell eight hours. You could just sell eight hours and lock that here and that's it but you can also book cost towards this. Resources can also be used on jobs. So, um, so let's just go ahead and take a quick look in the system and I'm actually gonna book a sales order for resource, create new one. Um, one interesting aspect of this is that the resource card uh, can connect to an employee card uh, and it can also connect to timesheet. Uh, and so you, so a resource can fill out a time sheet and time sheet can then be forwarded onto a sales invoice and then build out. So that's kind of how it works together. Um, other uses of resources could be a machine you rent out by the time, or, um, or you could use it for freight, you know, there's various usage. So let's check it out in the system. All right, let's take a look at resources. Uh, I'm gonna just go over here, type in resources, and we get into the list of resources. And this is set up in the demo system. As you can see, everybody's set up as people, but if I go into like, for example, Timothy here, um, there is a type in here. and I could either pick a person or a machine. Now this is just a type. I don't think it really has any functional difference in the system. A resource can have, of course, a cost, price. There could even be a price table. Um, if I go in here, for example, we have multiple prices and costs for the resource. Um, the resource connects to um, uh, jobs and it can connect to the service. So it could be on a service order or it could be on a job. Um, it could also be sold out just by the hour or you know utilize it in any situation where you think you might have a person that you're selling hours for or a machine that you're renting out or you could even set up like a charge that's going to be a, a resource and it's something you just put on a sales order and you want to track the ledger separately so if for example we uh, go ahead and and take a look at the sales order uh, or I could just go here, sales order. 
and what we want to do is um, create a new sales order and see how the resource actually fits in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell to uh, the Datum Corporation like usual and so here in type we can actually pick resource uh, and I can go ahead and say I want to sell Timothy's time so this could be consulting uh, the quantity is going to be 10 hours price is 154 and so I can just go ahead and post this and now we're uh, shipping and invoicing obviously we're not shipping every, anything because it's not a product it's just labor per se and it gets posted and what I want to do is go back into the resource and take a look at the ledger. So if I go back into resources and go into Timothy's card and then go ahead and let me see, navigate to, uh, let me see, where is this ledger entries? There it is. I can see that now we have a transaction, 10 hours. Uh, the cost is 847 the price is this the cost came automatically because that's the cost we stated on there so you don't buy resources you can but you don't have to uh, there's nothing that's matching out the quantities here so if you're just selling out and you want to just have a cost posted here arbitrarily you can do that this cost does not get posted anywhere so it's not linked to the gl it's more for your reference um, so so it's a kind of a nice thing it's very loosely attached to the gl it can be used as a sub ledger just for kind of data mining and controlling um yeah controlling controlling the transactions uh, for example what would be the alternative to using resources if we used for example a gl um, then you wouldn't have a sub ledger maybe everything would be going into the same gl for like labor uh prices and you couldn't have a specific uh, price card or anything like that. Now, resources are pushed to the next level because they are connected to timesheets. So you can actually have timesheets in the system, and I'll maybe go through that in the next video, uh, and collect time uh, and, and build that out. They're also connected to jobs, as I said before, and to service orders. So they are kind of an intricate uh, piece in the whole puzzle and they have their own sub ledger um, but again they don't directly themselves post to the um, general ledger so i hope that sort of explains the high level of resources maybe we go a little bit deep, deeper in where resources show up um, i think that would be a good one until next time thanks